today we need a couple of props. So either a block between your shoulder blades and a blanket to support your head or a blanket between your shoulder blades, towel, whatever it is. Roll it up if you don't have a block and we'll make our way onto our support. So bottom of the shoulder blades is where you start and then you go up along the spine and then the head drops back and have your support be high enough to support your head. Mine isn't right now. Don't know what I was thinking. I was in bread making mode before here. I have a loaf of bread in the oven that I'm thinking about actually making it in time too. So let's come into our supported fish here and legs are straight. Let the legs drop open, let the arms drop open. So there, there's an opening, and a very obvious opening across the front of the chest, into the neck and the throat as well. Not too much compression in the back of the neck. If that's happening, you put a little bit more support underneath your head here. And we are just going to let ourselves drop over the support. Today is our core day. And we're going to focus a little bit more on the back body. So there's core muscles along your spine as well, not just your deep belly and front belly. A little debate about some of the muscles actually. So let's close the eyes. And just feel this opening across your front body. Try to relax your belly. If you need support from your center, if your back is bothering you here, see if you just engage those deeper belly muscles, if that changes things. And if not, then just lower the support underneath your shoulder blades, or you can actually take your feet on the mat, rest your knees against each other. Options. So get to know your body, what's happening in your body right now. What is your experience of lying like this? Soften your facial muscles, make sure there's no tension in the brow, the cheeks, the jaws. So the arm bones get heavy here. So there's more of an opening across the front body, across the chest. And just feel how your breath moves in your body without doing anything, without shifting or engaging a deeper breath. Just feel the belly rising, feel the belly falling. And then engage your deep belly muscles. So get that deep contraction in the middle of your abdomen torso here. And then take a deep, slow breath in. And feel how the lungs fully expand and that opening happens across the chest. And exhale, keep that contraction in the belly. And again, deep breath in. Exhaling. And this time when you breathe in, keeping the belly engaged, just feel the back body. So feel the breath moving into the back body as much as you can. And that lift in the chest as well. And then one more drop down. Let go of the deep breathing, let go of the belly. Soften the space between your eyes, drop into that space. Your inner knowing, drop down to your heart center, your open heart center here. And rest your attention at your heart space, open yourself to an attention for your practice today. Once you've found your attention, just place your feet on the mat. Find that contraction in your center, chin in, roll yourself off of your supports. Move them out of the way. If you have a block, it may come in handy. If I have that handy, rock back down onto your back. Let's bring the knees into the chest, right knee on top of the left knee. So either 
you're going to just keep knee on top of knee and go into your twist or bind. Since we're just starting, you might want to not bind just yet. Just feel where your body's at. Scoop that right shoulder blade out. Gaze to the left. And soften that left hip down a little bit. Breathe. Feel the left ribs just kind of drawing over. Since we're going to be engaging that area very soon, bring your knees and squeeze those inner thighs in. Let's switch left on top of right. Bind, no bind. Whatever you have access to. And twist to the left, gaze to the right, right hip down. This time, right ribs drawn down. Breath is steady. And bring it back to center, knees into the chest. And we're going to rock ourselves into Navasana boat pose. So bring yourself up, grab the backs of the legs, spread those toes, lift your heart. If you're feeling it, straighten those legs and release your legs. So just have the arms reaching out in front of you. We're going to drop right into Ardha Navasana. Exhale, squeeze those belly muscles and come down slowly, 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 round your back. Lift yourself up back into Navasana. We're going to turn to, of course, you can do this with bent knees. And we're going to turn to the right. Squeeze your right ribs all the way over. We're moving slowly and consciously. Come back to center. Reach up. Exhale. Ardha Navasana. Slow motion. Squeeze that belly straight down towards your spine. Everything hugs into the center. Lift yourself up. Strong core. And turn to the left. And spin those left ribs over as far as you can and we come back to the uh, center Ardha Navasana breathe out and lift yourself up slowly lift yourself squeeze everything into the center turn to the right hug those thighs in reach up back to center Ardha Navasana and again as I said you can do this with bent knees right you can hold on to the backs of your legs if you need to and lift yourself and then we turn to the left and turn, squeeze, and back to center, down. Squeeze your belly down towards your spine. Lift yourself up and turn. Back to center, down. Everything's hugging into the center, lift and turn. And back to center, swing yourself around. Let's come on to our bellies. And come into Sphinx Pose. Bring yourself all the way down. Walk those arms in front of you. Uh, and stretch out the belly. It feels so good. Rock your thighs. Reach the feet straight back. Push down into the top of your feet. So lengthen your belly forward. Just draw it forward. Stretch it out. Press down into your elbows and your forearms. Open your heart. A couple deep breaths here. And one more. Walk yourself out of the pose. Press into downward facing dog. Up and back. And come forward right into plank. We're making our way into our two minutes. So come into high plank today. And find your pose. As we do. Six days a week for over, for actually it's been a year uh, at the end of this month. So draw the elbows back, open the collarbone, scoop the belly up. And I've gotten any feedback on what we should do for 2025. What y'all thinking? Let me know. Breathe. We're all going to breathe together in 2025, but we're going to breathe together right now and get active through your body. So find your center, find that lift in your center, that scooping of the belly up, Maybe a little tucking of the tailbone, using your thighs, lifting up your kneecaps. Feel the hamstrings finding space when you do that. Get your butt muscles active. Can you feel all 10 fingers, all 10 toes, hugging back, elbows drawing back? And we're going to shift our weight to the left leg. I know these are the funnest parts of the class. Right, right leg float, uh, floats up and exhale. Knee into the nose, round yourself out. 
and shoot it back. So when you do this, try to keep your shoulders forward, knee into the nose and straight back and round it out. Lift your hips up here and straight back. Good, exhale and back one more. Exhale and back, place it back down. Shift your weight to the right side, float the left leg up and we do the other side. Exhale, knee into the nose, straight back. Scoop it up and back. Exhale and back. Two more. Exhale and back and exhale and back. Place that foot down, maybe a little more gently than I just did. And we're going to make our way down to our bellies. Chaturanga. Whew. Bring yourself all the way down. Rock the thighs underneath you. So we're going to push into the tops of the feet. Have your hands walk back. So your palms are down, maybe towards the waist. Pull your palms back. We're just going to come on into half Shalabhasana. So curl your spine up, pull the elbows back, lift your chest, and drop back down. And we're going to do this on the inhale today. So inhale, belly strong, lungs fill, heart opens. Exhale, drop back down. Locust pose, roll the shoulders back, curl the spine up. See if you can feel that rolling along your spine, curling along your spine. Breathe in and breathe out. Tops of the feet are pushing down. Kneecaps are slightly lifted because the quads are active. Curl it up and it's a half shell busting because we're keeping our feet down. Good, and three. Drop it down. Two, find your back muscles. And last one. One. And release. Let's take the palms on top of each other. Rest your forehead. Take your feet, uh, knees wide apart, legs wide apart. Bend your knees. Reverse windshield wiper. Just rock it back and forth. One more deep breath. And release those legs. Take your hands back to the side of your body. Push yourself up. Downward facing dog. Come forward into plank pose. And we're gonna make our way onto our forearms. So come into forearm plank. And elbows, where am I? Elbows underneath the shoulders. Toes tucked under. We're going to take the legs together. Inner thighs hugging and swing. Hips up and over to the right. And lift. Scoop your navel up to your spine and to the left. And come to the side of your foot. Lift up and over and lift. Breathe out. Lift your hips up and around. Use your breath every time you come to center. Inhale. Every time you drop over, exhale. Just a few more, like this. And last one. Good, and puppy dog pose. Toes together, knees wide, open up the chest. Drop the chest down, forehead rests, if you can reach the mat, and stretch out your front body, breathe. One more breath here. And walk it back. Press yourself back into downward facing. Get grounded in your downward. So spread your fingers wide, hug the elbows in. Let's float the right leg up. Get stable through the left side. And exhale, knee to the opposite tricep. So lift, turn, and squeeze your knee towards your left arm. Reach it up, squared hip here. Exhale, lift super high and turn. And see if you can feel that turn happening from the side of your body. Exhale, scoop those left ribs over, lift your hips high and shoot it back up. Place your foot down, let's switch sides. Shift your weight to the right side of your body. Left leg floats up, lift your hips. 
exhale, knee to the opposite arm, and do this from your knee if you need to. So shoot it up, squared hip, exhale, scoop everything, lift it, touch, and up, and lift, and bend your knee, and touch. Shoot it up, back into downward facing. Take a deep breath. Shake out your head. Let's float the right foot to the top of the mat. Hips lift, right foot steps forward, left heel drops, come to standing. Reverse prayer. Hands behind you. Flip your palms. If that's not accessible, fist to fist, fist to fist. Scoop your belly in and we track over that right leg. Find your pyramid pose, roll your shoulders back, draw your elbows up to the sky and pull your right hip back. So think about lengthening your torso out of your hips. You're pulling your torso forward and scooping your hip back to find even more space. And front ribs in, deep belly active. Breathe. Heart is open. Feel the space in the backs of the legs. Push the heels down, both legs. Lift your kneecaps, both legs. Come forward more if you have more space. And vinyasa, step back, plank pose, chaturanga, inhale, open your heart, exhale, downward facing dog, take a deep breath. Left foot floats to the top of the mat, right heel drops, come up to standing, reverse your prayer, lift and lengthen. Draw that left hip back, open your heart, press that back heel down. And again, just drawing your torso forward. Staying grounded through both feet, push down into the mat with your feet. Again, active through both quadriceps, right? Lifting up the knees. Maybe coming forward a little bit more, feeling the backs of the legs. That back leg, the calf, maybe you'll feel a little bit more. Push down into that heel. Collarbones open. And we flow. Step back, plank pose. Chaturanga. Inhale. Flow. Open your heart, open your front body. Stretch that belly out. And downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Right foot floats to the top of the mat, left foot steps wide. Come to standing, put your block inside of that left foot if you can't reach the mat, arms out to the side, and we take our hand to either the sport or the mat and spin. If you don't have a block and you can't reach the mat, then rest on your shin here. It takes a little bit more balance actually to do it this way. So reach the right arm up, we're turning into the right thigh. Make sure your right hip is back, it's drawing into the body. And same thing, find the right side of your body spinning up from the rib cage. And draw your shoulders back. Gaze is up. Make sure the chin is drawn back when you spin your gaze. And we flow. Step back. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Inhale. Open your heart. Curl your spine up, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. Left foot steps to the top of the mat, right heel drops. We come to standing, arms out to the side, right hand to the inside of the left foot, support or your shin. Lengthen your torso forward before you spin. Pull the chin in, rise up, reach that left arm up, draw both shoulders back. Spin these left ribs up. Push that back heel down. Both shoulders rolling back. Inner thigh hugging back on both legs here. One more breath. We flow, step back. Leg pose. Scoop your belly up, open your heart, Chaturanga. Inhale. 
flow into your back bend. Find your back body. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath. We're gonna come forward into plank. Walk ourselves back onto our forearms. Into forearm plank. Bring your hips low here. Active throughout the legs, we're gonna walk into dolphin. So walk your feet towards your elbows. If you're tight here, you're gonna do this with a bent knee. Push your butt back, just like we do in our down dog if you're tight. So if you have more space, those legs are straighter. Push your shoulders back so they're not jutting far past your elbows. And walk back. Dolphin plank, uh, forearm plank. Same thing. Drop the hips down, bring it down, scoop your belly up. Use your legs, walk it in. Dolphin pose. Push your hips back and walk it back into forearm plank. Open up your collarbones. Bring your hips down, scoop that belly up. Gaze is ahead of you, walk it in. Breathe, hips back. And walk it back. Hips come down, shimmying my feet back there to bring them down and walk it in. Push your hips back, push your shoulders back, walk it back. Dolphin plank, scoop your navel up to the sky. And one more, dolphin pose. Hips back. Maybe those feet walk in a little bit closer. And back. Bring your hips low, come to your knees and sink it back. Child's pose. Take your fingers, touch your shoulders. Push the elbows down into the mat. And lengthen your hips as far back to your heels as you can. So take a few deep breaths here. If you've lost control of your breathing, get that back. Push into the backs of the arms. And reach the arms up overhead. Straight arms, elbows off the mat, inhale. Up onto the hands and knees, knees tuck in, exhale. Downward facing dog, right foot floats to the top of the mat. We step sideways. So take your feet parallel to each other, line them up, drop into your forward fold here. Take your hands, interlace your hands behind your back. Press the palms together, pull. So open your chest, let your head get heavy if you need to. You're bending your knees here, right? And just letting the head drop. Maybe hips a little bit back if you're tight, only if you're tight, right? So you've got that bend to the knees. Otherwise, bring your hips a little forward if your legs are straight, if you have the flexibility. Let the head drop, roll the shoulders back, scoop the palms together. Really opening up the front body, the front, the shoulders, the chest, and rise. Inhale, scoop your belly in, lift yourself all the way. Up, step to the top of your mat. Tadasana, samasthiti. Nice work. Let's make our way down onto our backs. And lie down. Feet are wide apart here. We're going to drop into a windshield wiper over to the right. Scoop your left foot under you. If you have that space, and press your left knee down. Press the left hip away from you. Feel this whole left side just kind of pushing away, finding length through the left side. Maybe you can even your back out. Let's turn the gaze to the left. And just hang out here for a few breaths. Feels so good. Slow the breath down. You can start to even lengthen and deepen the inhale and exhale. Yeah, one more deep breath here. Really push the knee away from you and the hip away from you. Get that opening. Let's release the foot. Feet back to wide apart, over to the left. And scoop that right foot under you, if you have the space for that. 
And we start to find a little space there on the right side. Get that uh, left shoulder blade out. Turn your gaze to the right. And let's gently press the right knee down. Start to find that space. As you find space, you can go a little deeper. Right ribs drawing back, right hip pushing away from you. Deep exhale, starting to feel the body surrender into the mat. We're about to make our way into a shavasana, so just take a couple more deep breaths here. Feel yourself being grounded into the earth. And let's bring it back to center. Make your way into Shavasana, final resting pose. Like it's under the knees of the head if you need them. Give your body space. And allow everything to just drop open. Close your eyes. Soften your belly. Did a lot of work in that space today. So bring your focus there. Relax your abdomen completely. And just follow the rise and fall of your breath as you breathe. So with your mind's eye, just kind of seeing how your body moves. Feeling, experiencing. Recognizing anything that comes up. Stay present. Soften the brow, the forehead, the eyes, the eyelids. Start to drop your gaze into that space, right in the middle, right between your brow, and just gaze deep down behind the eyes. Rest your attention here in this open space for another few moments. Bring your awareness back to your breathing. Gently start to reawaken your body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Deep stretch, arms up over the head. Reach fingertips to toes. Feel that lovely opening. And draw your knees into your chest with your eyes closed. Rock back and forth. Make your way to your side. Into fetus position. Press yourself up to seated. Sit tall. Lift your torso up out of your hips and take your palms to prayer. Feel all of that work in between your hands, thumbs into your heart. Draw your chin in and bow your head forward and bow down to you. Honor you and all of your uniqueness, all of those things that specifically make you you. Honor them, love them, and accept who you are. 
and bow down to your heart in your beautiful love and light. Recognize and honor that space in all beings. And from deep within your heart, let us send our collective prayer of peace to the world. May all beings experience peace. Take a moment to express gratitude for three things in your life. Inhale that back to center. Have a blissful remainder of your day. Thank you for practicing with me. Namaste. See what the angels have to say. And then I'm going to go grab my bread out of the oven. Let's see. Angel number one. Adventure. Number two. Expansiveness. I love that. Grow. And number three. Communication. Be clear. Have a fabulous day. I will see you back here tomorrow for more. Bye.